Hi everyone, my name is Pierre Chabonneau, I'm an IT architect and uh, today's video will basically provide you with a, a quick tutorial on how you can uh, run uh, Solaris 11.1 uh, 11, uh, 11 uh, on your Windows base or x86 machine. Uh, so we're basically going to walk, provide you a walkthrough on how you can do that very quickly uh, by using uh, the Oracle VM virt virtual box. So this this is very typical if you want uh, or very similar if you want if for example you run Linux uh, you're, you're probably quite familiar with the VMware software like, like the VM player while well, Oracle has also similar capabilities that you can use um, using the Oracle VM virtual box which is very uh, quite useful for that purpose so this is what we're going to walk through uh, today so first step first step is to download the virtual box so I'm going to show that to you here so this is true the first step is to get virtual box as you can see uh, from th this link uh, on the Oracle side the virtual box software uh, for different type of OS uh, so in, in this case the environment that we use is Windows 8.1 64-bit so in this case we did download the version for the Windows host uh, the 64-bit ver version. So this is truly the first step. Get pretty much to get the player, uh, which will allow you to run the Celeris 11.1 uh, template from Oracle. So after you downloaded the software, this is pretty much what you will get uh, in terms of so software. Now the next step is to actually download the template itself, as we can see. So let me show you the link. This is a link from Oracle. So Oracle uh, provides you several templates for Solaris, uh, including an evaluation that you can use or a free version for the virtual box that we just installed. Uh, so click on this link, follow the steps. Uh, now, you may need to register. Typically, Oracle will, uh, will ask you to register uh, to download this type of software. So that's what I would recommend that you do. It just take a couple of minutes. It's, it's, it's free allow you to download their software so uh, so basically just follow the different step download the template and then uh, you'll be in business so after you download the template I'm going to show you next what you're going to see so essentially after you download the template you're going to get an OVE file so you can see it's quite large it's about 1.8 gig uh, and it's pretty much the template uh, that you need as a starting point after you get this You'll need to go back to the Oracle VM Virtual Box Manager and go under File Import Appliance, and then just pick up the OVE file that you just downloaded from Oracle. Okay, so this is truly uh, the next step. So after you're done with the import, you will see exactly this screen there. You will see uh, pretty much. Uh, uh, the, the, the Oracle 11.1 and then you will see a couple of steps just follow the wizard uh, from the virtual box that will allow you to configure a, a base a VM and after you're done with this whole process you will pretty much get a base settings which is pretty much your new OS your new service 11.1 um, so it's it's fairly st straightforward now before you try to fire up your uh, service 11 I, I recommend that you go under the settings and then you manage properly your resource uh, the resources because the you don't want to starve your host so depending on your specification so in this case the system has 16 gig of RAM so we did uh, allocate up to 8 gig so I would recommend that you don't go uh, beyond let's say uh, try to keep probably 40 50 percent of capacity to your host so you, otherwise things will start to run quite uh, uh, basically choppy uh, on your side so don't overscale your VM that's the, the bottom line so double check the settings for your memory um, same thing for the processors uh, depending on how what you want to do on your VM and then after you're pretty much done with the uh, actual tuning then you'll be in position to fire up your VM so in this case we're going to fire up the VM so we can show you uh, how this whole process so essentially you will get the Oracle Celeris 11.1 now that being said the my VM is already pre-configured so there's a couple of steps that you won't see from this screen because it's already pre-set up but 
you will see the, uh, the the wizard process is very straightforward so just follow the different step and at some point uh, Solaris uh, will auto configure itself and you'll be uh, able to start some things like the user account they will ask you to pick up a user like the root user root password so very straightforward because at the end of the day you'll be root of um, your new environment so just follow these steps uh, and take it from there so you will see this this process is very good and then it it will allow you after that to do uh, very easily task uh, between your windows uh, machine in this case uh, a.1 and then on Solaris um, in in our case uh, for example we use it uh, let's say you want to do some Java de development there so you can use your service VM to you could may want to just practice for some of the commands on Solaris that you want to practice or you may want to install a software like WebLogic uh, so in this case you want to do some uh, Java programming so this is a ide ideal uh, if, you, if you don't want to add a separate machine right so after you're done we're basically setting up the username just to log in and Solaris again it's a pre-configured users as I explained but don't worry that the step to initially load is are very straightforward and then we're just going to log on ourselves now you see a couple of options here like we have auto capture keyboard turn on so the Oracle VM virtual box is very good um, it, allow, it allows you to do quite a lot there you can uh, depending how you set up your settings uh, obviously copy paste will work you can set it up uh, by, by the be the directional uh, so you can do quite a lot between your host and the VM back and forward so and that's essentially what you, you you will get so you see you're pretty much now our VM is fully loaded so we have our host running as you can see host is still running no problem there everything is still quite happy there um, no problem and then you can quickly jump back to your uh, Solaris VM now if you right click you can fire up the terminal and then that's a typical Solaris environment if you run a quick top command that's pretty much it and that's interesting because the top the top command from Solaris is quite a classic command so in this case you we can precisely see 8 gig of memory um, pretty much which is precisely uh, from the uh, the resources that we configured and you can do also uh, sharing of the disk uh, so for example if you look under the different disk the Solaris as soon as you want to share let's say you want to share a disk with your host uh, in this case we we, we ask uh, to share our temp folder from our host so it's going to create you a mount point you set it up in a auto mount and as soon as you fire up Solaris it's going to mount um, that shared drive from our host directly into your VM. This is very useful because obviously if you want to start installing softwares uh, you could always download them directly from your VM if you're allowing uh, internet access or you could just copy the software to a shared folder and take it from there and this is what you will see in this case like slash mn MNT and then the name of the drive or the folder that, that you share from your host. So again, this is just the part two, uh, the, source, the part one of the tutorial, and we will get back with part, part two. After you're, you're done with your work, then you can just close it, right? And then you power off the machine. It's going to power off your Solaris, and you're back to your view, okay? So I hope you appreciate this quick tutorial. So we'll get back with a part two, um, which will show you how you can uh, do a bit more uh, features with your VM, like things I just explained, like sh uh, sharing folder, installing software like WebLogic. Uh, so we're going to get back with a part two. In the meantime, uh, I hope you appreciate the, the tutorial and uh, have have a good day.